have you got any um, ideas about the ideal recruitment process? How, how would you like it to be in an ideal world? Um, I don't know to be honest. <laughs> um, so the way I conduct recruitment is, some would say, um, rather slapdash, okay. in, a, in a nice way, um, in the sense that... Fluid, agile. Fluid, yeah, let's <laughs> like say fluid. Um, I'm all about people, um, so rather than have a rigid uh, interview process, it's sort of tailored to each person. So what I need to be convinced of when I interview somebody is the, the type of person they are and the, the sort of how they're going to fit into the team. Mm. So some people, you can ascertain that very, very quickly. You can just have a coffee and a chat and you know straight away this per person's perfect. Other times you need to dig a bit deeper into um, their technical skills or, or their, their personal behaviours as well. So generally um, what I do is I have a quick telephone call, make sure that they don't have two heads. Um, and then following that it's a face-to-face -face, uh, interview um, and that generally is a free-form conversation. Very similar to this yeah. where um, we will talk about um, the sort of technologies that would be needed for the role and allow that person to talk to me about it. Uh, and very quickly I can ascertain whether that person understands the technology we're talking about, has a passion for it, whether they're the sort of person that actively wants to learn about things like that. And is that going with your gut again as well? It is, it is also almost an instinct thing. And touch wood. Can I work with this person for years yeah, on it? <laughs> touch wood, it has always worked. Um, because I, th I think by listening to people rather than trying to quiz them in an interview, you actually get a much better view of the person and, and how they work than, you know, saying, how would you do this? How would you do this? How would yeah. you do this? Um, actually having a conversation, allowing them to open up about, you know, React Native, for example, mm. um, gives them a much better opportunity to show who they are. Because nobody likes sitting in an interview and just being quizzed on, how would you do this in this language? And what's the syntax for this? Mm. Because that isn't the important thing anymore. You know, every developer, Every single one out there uses Google, uses Stack Overflow to remember syntax. Because mm. remembering syntax isn't important. It's just remembering how to solve the problem yeah. that's important. Yeah. So that's why I prefer in an interview to actually just talk to people. Um, and they are very open-ended. I've got a list of objectives that I want to get out of it. Okay. But it comes from free-flowing conversation. Yes. I always say that I find the um, the five minutes at the end of the interview the most revealing. Because the, kind of, the, the guard drops mm. and then you find out what they're actually like to have a normal conversation Yeah, but with. once the interview's technically it's, over exactly, yes. and you're just about to leave. You've shook hands and then you have a quick chat and yeah, yeah. it's interesting. Yeah, that's very true. But that's generally what I try and get throughout the whole sure. thing. Yeah, yeah. Because like I say, the person is the most important thing.